a critical review on hydrodynamic study of sparged split stirred multi phase reactor. Abstract multi phase reactors include a large variety of reactors reacting with three phases of gas liquid solid in homogeneous and heterogeneous reactions with and without catalyst and efficiently working on number of applications of chemical, biotechnology, petrochemical, and number of industrial fields with modifications starting from various types of reactors, reactor components, installation positions of the impellers spargers, baffles. Airlift reactors is a multi-phase, sparged reactor with splits inside the reactor playing a major role in biotechnology fields, chemical and petrochemical industries and in wastewater treatment plants with its advantageous simple design. No moving parts and less power consumption. Flow characteristics inside the reactors are studied by the hydrodynamic parameters mainly of gas holdup, mixing time, and liquid gas velocities. In this review we study all the modified designs in the airlift reactors and suggest the installation of stirrers in the downcomer zone in airlift reactors to improve the hydrodynamic parameters and mass transfer coefficients. Studies are minimum with stirrers in the modified designs of airlift reactors. To improve the performance of airlift reactors stirrers of various geometry and types can be set up and the enhanced properties can be researched. Keywords Hydrodynamics, Multi-Phase Flow airlift reactors, gas holdup, superficial gas velocity. 1. Introduction Reactors reactions reactants plays a major role in motivating the researchers to reduce cost and waste to the minimum in redesigning reactors of multiple phases, multiple designs, and combining various alternative reactions with number of combinations of reactants to attain our requirement in this competitive globe. Stirred tank reactors is oldest of all the complex equipment which dates back to 1940s for the production of antibiotic penicillin. One. Recent researchers worked on pneumatic. Designs of bubbling gas agitation 1. It is further modified to our requirements and needs. The modes of operation may be of batch, semi batch, or continuous operations. Stirred tank reactors were redesigned with multiple designs of impellers with radial and axial flow types and also with multiple impeller systems and self inducing impeller types with spargers of various designs with and without baffles. Two bubble column designs were not widely used even if it has its long history. One airlift reactors came into effect with lot of modifications and types like internal loop airlifts and external loop airlifts. They are further classified into internal airlifts which comes under split cylinder type and another having concentric draft tube modifications with spargers. One dot airlift reactors comes in various designs of cylindrical three square four rectangular five helix three shapes. Dot fixed bed reactors packed bed reactors with different packing materials also plays an unavoidable role in all industries. Dot novel bubble induced flow designs, monolith reactors, miniaturized reactors like micro and nano reactors are also. Designed and modified according to the industrial problems 2. Number of designs are modified and the research is being continued due to complexity in reaction conditions and unavailability of standard data handbooks. Airlift reactors modified by split, sparger, and stirrer and hydrodynamic properties variations are studied in this article. Modified design concepts are reviewed in the types of reactors, reactants, and reaction conditions. Researches have been done on sparged 6 and split reactors 7 and few researches are available with stirrers 8. Review concentrates on split sparged designs 9 and suggests to modify the reactors with stirrers according to the required conditions. Gas liquid and solid phases are considered in multi-phase reactors where arises the complexity in flow regimes inside the reactors and researches are still continued to standardize the designs by modeling 10 the measurement methods and flow dynamics of the airlift reactor. To optimize and scale up, distributions of bubble size and hydrodynamics knowledge is necessary to establish mass transfer in two-phase, GL. Reactors 11. To scale up homogeneous reactions in multi-phase reactors is simple 12. Risky uncertainties ends up while multi-scaling of multi-phase reactors 13. Dispersion phases and their interactions during scaling up is a challenge in understanding the spatial distributions of the phases 14. Probing the hydrodynamics of turbulent phases in various zones are important and it is a challenge. 
Measuring methods followed are indirect and signals should be followed to infer hydrodynamics. Image based methods record the multi phase flows. 11. Intrusive image based methods are followed to probe the hydrodynamics and local bubble size distributions in multi phase reactors. 11. Airlift reactors are easy to scale up. 11.4. Point optical probe technique is followed in investigating local gas holdup and to measure the bubble dynamics in a split cylinder airlift reactor. 7. Gas holdup, liquid holdup. Mixing time, liquid velocity 6, power consumption pressure drop are the hydrodynamic parameters to be understood for scaling up the airlift reactors. Two-stage and multi-stage internal loop airlift reactor were designed and bubble dynamics and hydrodynamics were investigated and proved that the multi-stage internal loop airlift reactors have higher efficiency, gas holdup 15 and mass transfer rates 16. In a two-stage internal loop airlift reactor screens of different mesh sizes were installed and the hydrodynamics was studied and found that the screens broke the bubbles and the radial velocity distribution of bubbles were uniform and larger gas. Holdup can be obtained if a suitable screen can be selected 17. In gas liquid solid systems hydrodynamic characteristics are complicated due to the intricate effect of the particles. Bubble dynamics were measured with superficial gas velocities and different solid loadings and found that there is no significant effects on solid loading 18. Bubble pressure oscillation and force variation during collisions were measured to explain bubble particle collision and results showed that bubble breakage occurs at high solid loading 19. PBM, population balance method, characterize the bubble behavior and CFD simulations were done for lab scale internal loop airlift reactor and they provided an effective method for scale up 20. The effects of different spargers also have been modified and hydrodynamic characteristics were researched and found that the gas holdup, volumetric oxygen transfer coefficient and liquid velocity depend on the structure of the sparger 21. In the past decades abundant studies have been carried out on flow dynamic characteristics geometry optimization and modeling due to numerous airlift reactors applications 10. Even after a lot of researches complete knowledge about airlift reactors with geometries and different scales is not up to the required extent due to lack of orderly set of descriptions of flow dynamics and flow structure. To design various airlift reactors accurately flow dynamics knowledge should be gained to scale up for various applications. Operational parameters should also be understood along with geometry of reactors. With multi-phase flows of complex interphase interactions sub-models are not available for simulating with CFD. The aim of this review is to briefly describe the researches done in all industrial applications of the airlift reactors of various modifications in geometry and in operating conditions are reviewed. Impellers of numerous modified designs and position of impellers and multiple impeller designs will be summarized. Hydrodynamic parameters were analyzed for all the modified designs. The airlift reactors are analyzed with various sparger designs, position of the spargers, split designs, and with various operating superficial velocities. To increase the hydrodynamic parameters and mass transfer rates stirrers are suggested in the downcomer region. Reactors with stirrers give high shear rate. For more oxygen rates required systems airlift reactors with stirrers are advisable 22. Minimum research work is done with stirrers 8. Suitable designs can be suggested for airlift reactors with stirrers by backtracking all the researches to give maximum gas holdup, liquid holdup, minimum bubble diameter shear rate liquid circulation velocity mass transfer coefficient, minimum mixing time and power consumption for the industrial applications. 2. Airlift reactor 2.1 General Concepts Airlift reactors, ALR are pneumatic agitated reactors. They are effective in liquid back mixing reduction rates. It is a multi-phase reactor and efficient contactor on gas liquid solid system. Origin is from bubble column reactors, BCR, which has a cylindrical vessel along with a gas distributor at the bottom 23. The flow is random in BCR and in ALR it is a defined cycle 24. It is suitable for shear sensitive processes since the ALR is having defined cycle flow it reduces dead volume and increases the random turbulence. Compared to other BCR and mechanically stirred reactors they have good mixing, simple design. Low shear force low energy requirement requires no moving parts and it occupies minimum ARA25. 
ALRs are very popular in the research of bioprocess and development ranging from biochemicals production for wastewater to treatment of the wastewater due to its hydrodynamic characteristics. ALRs are playing an important and unavoidable role in all the fermentation processes, chemical engineering, wastewater treatment and metallurgy. In China due to stringent standards many wastewater treatment plants were not to the emission standards and ALRs efficiency made technical modifications in the biological reactors for treating wastewater 26. Due to ALRs convolution of multi-phase flow structure it is more complex in spite of its simple design. Hence it leads to studies of world. Span Research 27-29. ALRs can be studied by concentrating on hydrodynamics and mass transfer and another methodology is based on its applications in various industry processes. 2.2 Basic Design In ALRs liquid area is divided into two and one of them alone is gas sparged. Two different bulk densities are caused by differing gas holdups in gassed and ungassed AREAS1. It causes fluid circulation by gas lift action in the reactor. Riser is the area where it has gas liquid flowing upwards and downcomer is the area of fluid down flowing one gas separator at the top where gas gets separated from the liquid phase 2 and the downcomer 30. Riser and downcomer are joined at the top and bottom and they are parallel to each other. Since it's a pneumatically operating reactor sparger is mounted at the riser bottom. They are divided into up and down flow depending on the sparger position 31. The gas is introduced at the bottom in up flow. In the aerated and unaerated area due to density difference the flow occurs by gravity effects. There are two types depending on liquid and gas up and down flows, where the liquid inflows from top by a liquid jet and gas is sparged from the upper part in the downflow ALRS 32. ALRs of up flow are divided into two based on downcomer separation from main reactor. In the internal loop ALRs, ILALR, the riser and downcomer or nearer and in the external loop ALR, LALR, the riser and downcomer are separated by a distance. In this complete degassing is achieved 33 due to longer travel of bubbles up to the entrance of the downcomer. It is commonly selected for improved mixing, complete degassing and for the liquid circulation to the maximum 34. Dot since it has no restrictions on the area ratio of the riser and downcomer it operates on wide flow velocity conditions. The ILALR have further classifications based on baffle in between the riser and downcomer, a draft tube which is continuous is kept in between the riser and downcomer and draft tube which is sectional is kept in between riser and downcome. Up and down flowing regions is connected by additional piping in LALR. There are variety of modified ALRs for specific applications. Flow status will be homogeneous for coaxial pipe ILALR and has more volume utilized but in split plate the velocity profile is inhomogeneous. To overcome this multiple risers and downcomers were modified in ILALR and this gave uniform velocity profile and stable flow in channels. Groveled ALRs are designed to work on wastewater treatment in which they have low aspect ratio compared to conventional ALR which cannot be operated above the output pressure of 98 kPa 33. In the GALR the riser and downcomer width is small and it makes minimum internal recirculation in riser and dead volume in downcomer and velocity is uniform. Advances in characteristics analysis, measurement methods, and modeling of flow dynamics in airlift reactors, science direct. Fig 1. Classification of internal and external loop airlift reactor, A, internal ALR, B, inverse internal loop ALR, C, internal loop ALR with split, D, external loop ALR 10. 2.3 Modified Designs of ALR In ALR there are numerous modified designs to improve the performance. The modifications make changes in hydrodynamic improvements improve mixing and it also increased mass and heat transfer rates. Funnel shaped designs 35 at the top of the risers guided the flow of rising fluid in the reverse direction of the downcomer and the gas bubble retention time was extended. It also enhanced gas holdup and kinetic energy dissipation was decreased. Trumpet 36 modified design of riser increased oxygen transfer and gas holdup. 
more gas bubbles in the downcomer changes the gas ratios in the riser to the downcomer and it ends up in the reduction of liquid circulation velocity and it leads to the total holdup increase in the ALR dot and thus mass transfer rates are increased 37 dot static mixers and wire meshes are modified designs in the riser to enhance mixing, to create disturbances in fluid and to increase the rates of dispersion for. ALRS with annulus sparging types are included with sieve plates in the axial direction at different heights in the modified designs of risers and thus it improves volumetric mass transfer coefficients and the gas holdup. Large bubbles are reduced to smaller bubbles by the sieve meshes. Breaking of bubbles is done by sieves which are included in the modified designs in the riser. To increase the efficiency small bubbles coalescence are reduced by additives of electrolytes 38. Dot addition of different hole sized and varying hole numbers in perforated plates are also found to reduce the GL mass transfer coefficient 39 and also they increased the GL interfacial area. Dot rectangular wire mesh draft tube modification was also redesigned and it made changes in bubble coalescence and in liquid mixing 40. Dot gas holdup was also found to be enhanced and mixing time was found to be reduced. Static mixers were also introduced in the draft tube into concentric tube ALR riser and it increased the production rate 41. Helical flow promoter 42 increased the fluidization capacity when the modified designs were included in the downcomer. The modified design gave enhancement in radial mixing and increased the solid liquid mass transfer coefficients. But it was found to be difficult in scaling up. Design modifications at the bottom by keeping a cross-shaped design gives an improved liquid circulation velocity 43 and installation is by changing supporting beams of the riser by the elements of cross-shaped. On concluding, the design modifications are not efficient on full-scale operations and they limit their usage within the small-scale operations. Flow characteristics gets changed by the above modified designs and to enhance the performance of the reactors with flow patterns some modified designs of ALRs have been tried. In chemical and biological processes for increasing the contact surface some packed materials were used inside the flow channels. Ceramic Paul rings packing gave improved gas liquid mass transfer in split cylinder ALR also it increased gas holdup and increased the bubble retention time. Oxygen mass transfer coefficients also found to rise to a large difference on the packing inside the split cylinder ALR44. On packing with stainless steel holders in the LALRs with minimum resistance at the top and large cross section in the bottom zone and found that there was no gas bubbles in the region of the downcomer. The gas holdup was found to be increased and the liquid circulation velocity along with bubble size was found to be reduced 45. Bubble distribution is not even due to backflows and flowing of liquid internally and to avoid and to reduce the rate of backflows the large dimensional riser was kept with small dimensional risers to form a multiple riser design modification. Hydrodynamic parameters were studied with different configurations of ALRs with different draft tubes and found that the ALR with four draft was more efficient in the hydrodynamic parameters compared to the other configurations 46. For increasing the gas. Holdups and mixing in the downcomer region different modified design of multistage riser with triplet loop ALR was designed and found the hydrodynamic parameters enhanced comparing with single stage ALR47. Modified designs gave less mixing time, increased volumetric oxygen mass transfer coefficient and reduced liquid circulation velocity with increased gas holdup. Concentric draft tubes were divided into three parts in the riser and they were positioned at a distance with sieve plates kept at the partitions and found that the bubbles broke during traveling upwards in the riser due to sieve plates and found solder diameter of bubbles get reduced 48. Enhanced hydrodynamic parameters arose when risers were made with permeable walls along with the downcomer. When hydrodynamic parameters were compared with multistage perforated permeable and ordinary tube riser the performance was best in permeable riser 49. Draft tubes were replaced of variable cross sections and hydrodynamic parameters were compared and found that there was better performance in the cross section draft tubes of variable modifications. In LALR the riser cross section was modified and hydrodynamic parameters found to be increased on the modified design of the riser 50. Lot of Modifications and comparative study emerges day to day having history of decades due to the increased requirements in industries but many modified designs cannot be scale up due to increased expenses in energy and complex constructional operating procedures clog formation and maintenance problems. 2.4 Sparger Designs 
In industrial ALR designs gas is sparged into the reactor at the bottom and flows upwards in the riser. Usual spargers are ring type distributors, single orifice nozzle and perforated plates. Ring type spargers cannot produce small bubbles 51 but they can produce uniform flow. In modified designs according to the industrial requirement spargers of different cross sections and types are redesigned and also the position of the sparger in the reactor is studied by varying the installation positions to get efficient gas holdup and superficial gas velocity. Gas sparger was fixed in the middle in an LALR combined fluidized bed reactor and it eliminated high shear stress areas 52. In some modified designs it is kept in the draft tube middle 53 it is designed to reduce the shear stress on solid particles formed by bubbles. Vertical LALR with a triangular shape was designed with two operating spargers. Minimum gas flow rate sparger is fixed at the bottom of the downcomer and the maximum flow rate sparger is kept at the bottom of the riser. The modified design gave increased mass transfer rates and mixing was enhanced and reduced the consumption of energy 54. In research work sparger effects are minimum considered since the reactor operates on different velocity ranges with complex fluids 55. Spargers were selected based on the operational limitations 1. Gas holdup will be high if spargers produce small diameter bubbles in the transition zones and homogeneous fluids 1. Sparger types does not have effects but the sparger position should be optimized. Positioning the sparger at the bottom leads to coalescence and gas accumulation. If positioned within the riser then there will be no dead zone. The sparger position should also not to be kept near the surface which cause high gas separation and leads to recirculation which is not acceptable for the reactor performance. 3 Flow Dynamic Characteristics 3.1 Flow Regimes Hydrodynamics controls the bulk transport phenomena, interface, and heat transfer of the fluid walls. Gas is passed into the reactor and if the flow of the gas is increased different flow regimes can be seen. When gas flow rate is minimum, bubbles rise straight and interactions will be minimum. This is called homogeneous and unhindered flow of the bubbles. When flow of gas is increased it leads to coalesced bubble flow regime due to interaction of bubbles. It will not be constant and on further increase in gas flow it leads to churn turbulent flow. The shape of the bubbles will not be constant due to high turbulence. When the gas flows are increased then the bubbles get the shape of the tube from which they flow and this is called a slug flow regime. Advances in characteristics analysis, measurement methods, and modeling of flow dynamics in airlift reactors, Science Direct. Fig.2 Typical flow characteristics in ALR56 3.2 Flow characteristics Riser area has large holdup for gas phase. From the sparger at the bottom bubbles rises to the riser area according to its design position where it is fixed in the reactor. When they operate on other regimes recirculation liquid may also enter into the riser from the downcomer and it increases the gas flow rate higher than it is supplied in the riser. In LALR this kind of recirculation is avoided. Usually it occurs when the bubble velocity sparged in the riser is less compared to downcomer recirculating fluid velocity 57. Drag force in the downcomer is more so it carries the entrained small bubbles to the riser and recirculation occurs and by this gas liquid. Mass transfer will be increased. Gas liquid moves in a CO current pattern 58. The pattern of fluid flow will be in axis in riser and it will be near the wall during recirculation 59. The stable flow and the improved mixing gives flow uniformity in risers. To increase the mixing rates and to improve the mass transfer coefficient without head loss new modification of convergence divergence riser was researched 60. To get the velocity of the fluid higher and to make the flow stable a modified design of fixing a cross shaped design is installed at the bottom 61. According to our needs the designing can be made to improve the parameters for the performance efficiency of the reactor. Downcomer usually have liquid or liquid mixed with gas bubbles. Entered in the downcomer from the riser and it is usually of the plug flow type reactor 62 and researched that when the velocities are negligible it is dominated by plug flow designing an optical system. During this experiment flow was homogeneous at minimum gas flow rates with no recirculation of gas bubbles. Calorimetric tracing methodology was designed for the ALRs having high holdup and found to behave like continuous stirred tank reactor in the top portion and at the bottom it behaved as plug FLOW63. The variation would have occurred due to the bulk shock of water from the riser. 
Bubble breaking and coalescence are monitored in the top and the bottom of the downcomer zones in the split ALR64. The liquid recirculation velocity determines the flow characteristics of the downcomer. In designing the modifications of the flows, advantageous effects of ALR should not get affected. Effective degassing reduces the bubbles entering the downcomer and reduces recirculation and give high liquid velocities. Gas separator geometry and clearance at the top determines the degassing performance. 65. Risers and downcomers are connected by the bottom clearance. This plays an important role in large scale operations. The complete idea about all the characteristics is not known by the researchers, and due to this condition, optimization is not up to the level of expectations. 4. Hydrodynamic parameters measurement 4.1 Bubble size Gas holdup, bubble size, mixing time, liquid circulation velocity are the essential parameters to measure the hydrodynamic characteristics. There are many methods for measuring these parameters in the history of decades. All parameters are interrelated and it leads to complexity to characterize the flow in ALRS liquid circulation and gas holdup are measured by local and global values. For global values the whole reactor's average parameters are considered. Instant value at specific points gives the local values. Bubble sizes was studied by number of authors. Photographic technique was used by many researchers. 200 bubbles were photographed at differing heights by a digital video camera and the equivalent bubbles were denoted by spherical equivalent diameters 66. Dense bubbly flows were measured by image analysis and bubble clusters that were overlapping were researched 67. Sequenced photographs were used to measure the overlaid bubbles by digital image analysis 68. Optical fiber probes were also used to find the bubble sizes by automatic microprobes techniques and 2 and 4 point probes were studied and found 4 point probing was used in detecting bubbles at high flow rates and 2 point probing was limited to low gas flow rates. 4.2 Gas Holdup Gas holdup determines the performance of the reactor and the flow characteristics. It calculates the mass transfer rates and evaluates the driving force of flows caused by the density differences in the riser and downcomer. It is defined as the volumetric fraction of gas phase in total volume for the considered space, EQ1. EG equals VG slash VT, 1. V indicates the phase volume and indicates the phase holdup and total and gas phase volumes are denoted by subscripts G and T. In industrial applications this is the basic parameter for measuring gas holdup. For the measurement of total gas holdup the volume expansion method is followed 69. To calculate total gas holdup the expansion height of liquid level before and after aeration are determined, EQ2. EGT equals, 2, HA HS HA. In static and aerated states the HS and HA are the corresponding heights 70. The liquid levels was easy to measure at low gas velocities and was difficult during high gas velocities and the average was considered for calculations 71. Pressure difference relative to level of the bottom was used to find the gas holdup 72, EQ3. EGT equals 1. P slash dot LG HA, 3. G is the acceleration due to gravity, dot P indicates the pressure difference. Dot L indicates the density of the liquid phase. Even if it receives automatic pressure signals it requires the aerated liquid level for measurements. Riser and downcomer gas holdups are considered as local gas holdups. Two static pressure probes were connected to a U-tube manometer and the riser end. Downcomer average gas holdups was calculated 73, EQ4. EGI equals dot M dot L slash dot L star dot Z slash L. 4. Z indicates the differences in height in the manometer, I is the section of riser and downcomer considered, M is the barrier fluid in the manometer and L is the two pressure sampling ports difference. Inverted U-tube manometers were used to measure the gas holdups in riser and downcomer 74. Due to the pressure sensor's development the gas holdup calculations are modified and it replaced U-tube manometers, EQ5. EGI equals 1. P slash dot LGL, 5. For three phase gas liquid solid systems, differential pressure methods were used. At the time of degassing and aeration, the readings were noted in U tube differential pressure manometer. Solid holdup at complete degassing also was determined when there is no solids in pulse tubes, and the following equation gives average gas holdup 75. 
EGI equals dot S dot L FS plus dot L dot H slash Z slash dot S dot L plus dot L dot G six dot H indicates the manometer value at the aeration and FS denotes the solid holdup. The gas holdups are measured by many methods and studies are continued for efficient values. 4.3 Mixing Time Mixing ensures the performance of the reactor and it is done by impellers, stirrers, recirculated mixing and pneumatic stirring. In the airlift reactors the mixing occurs pneumatically and by recirculating downcomer fluids. It depends on liquid velocity and gas holdup and of complex to measure. Mixing time is the time taken to attain homogeneity. Tracer method is followed for understanding the performance of the good mixing. Conductivity, light absorption methods are used to monitor the tracer concentration at various points. Concentration in homogeneity is calculated, EQ7. I equals C, T, C, 8, slash C, 8, equals CR1, 7. Mixing is an essential parameter to know about the reactor performance but it is a complex parameter and depends on liquid velocity and gas holdup. Studies are still continued to find an efficient methodology to calculate proper mixing globally in the reactor. 4.3 Liquid Velocity Liquid velocity determines the mass transfer characteristics, gas-liquid solid holdups, and mixing. Increased liquid velocity results in good and effective mixing and distributes the solid particles homogeneously. Many methods are followed to measure the velocity and largely neutrally buoyant particles and pulse tracer response are utilized a lot for measurement. A magnetic tracer method was also researched 76. Neutrally buoyant particle method has its limitations of radial movement. With low cost, tracer pulse measures the liquid velocity. Internal back flows, secondary flows, swirls should be known to understand the velocity profile. Optimization and scale-up will not be possible without understanding of the local velocities. If the measurements are underestimated then it leads to downgrading of reactor efficiency performance. The local liquid velocities are measured by particle image velocimetry, hot film anemometry, laser Doppler anemometry. Many inventive methodologies should be researched to optimize and scale up with models to get accuracy to increase the ALR's performance on a large scale 10. Table 1. Literature Review on Modified Design of Reactors Researcher Reactor Parameters Remarks Amuneski's ETAL 77 Stirred, baffled six-bladed impeller Flow Characteristics Power number increases with impeller diameter. MKIS DETAL1 Airlift reactor Hydrodynamics Comparison of reactors, BC and ALR MKIS DETAL, 27 Airlift reactors ILALR and LALR Liquid circulation velocity Increases with square root of reactor height YKIS DETAL 78. Airlift reactors. Liquid circulation. Velocity. Induced liquid circulation. M. Buefi ETAL, 79. Dual impeller agitated reactor. Bubble size and mass transfer coefficient. Comparison with correlations done. G. A. Humark ETAL, 80. Agitator, flat blade turbine impeller. Power requirement, interfacial area. Correlations for power and int. Area. XLUETAL, 4. Square ALR round ALR. Hydrodynamic parameters. Comparison of square ALR with ALR, mass transfer are better in square ALR. JM Vasconcelos ETAL, 81. Hydrodynamic parameters. Rushton turbine. Blade shape, six-bladed turbine impellers. Retrofitting with streamlined impellers. T. Musha ETAL, 82. Multiple impellers, triple impeller vessel. Hydrodynamics, power number. Low power number high dispersion mixing intensities. High power number better. P. M. Kilonzo ETAL, 5. 
2 riser rectangular ALR inverse internal loop Expanded GL separator Design baffle clearance Influenced liquid circulation velocity WUETAL, 16 Multistage internal loop ALR Operating regimes High operation flexibility Researcher Reactor Parameters Remarks ECATIC ETAL, 2 Bioreactors GL mass transfer Comparative study of all reactors, ALR best performed Tiwang ETAL, 83 Stirred tank dual impeller Hydrodynamic parameters Axial impeller less energy Radial more energy, correlations made, mixing time for double impeller short if pitched blade turbine installed lower best for solids. L Luo ETAL, 21. ILALR with different spargers. Hydrodynamic parameters, mass transfer. For orifice nozzle best. JC Gabel ETAL, 84. Stirred reactors. Hydrodynamic parameters, mass transfer. Power consumption, mixing best in. Rheological behavior. SS to Jesus ETAL, 22. ALR, STR, SBR, BC. Hydrodynamic parameter, mass transfer. STR mass transfer high, ALR low shear and power requirement. Sturt ALR suitable for high oxygen rates. V Capello ETAL, 85. Sturt reactor. Bubble size liquid mass transfer coefficient. Correlations were made. New technology to measure bubble solder diameter. MHC ETAL, 86. Stirred reactor. Ellipse gate impeller. Hydrodynamic parameters. High mixing efficiency in transition and turbulent flows. Jejong ETAL, 87. Stirred reactor, triple impeller. Hydrodynamic parameters. Comparative study of five triple impeller combinations. M. Rasinen ETAL, 3. Helix ALR. Hydrodynamic parameters. Energy efficient. Correlations for gas holdup, mass transfer derived. T. Z. Zhanhine ETAL, 68. ALR rectangular. Hydrodynamic parameters. Parameters measured at different positions of riser and downcomer. T. Jong E. T. L. 33. ALR. Hydrodynamic parameters. Optimized to scale up with modified designs. A. A. Y. E. T. A. L. 7. Split cylinder ALR. 4 point probe method. Hydrodynamic parameters. Correlations for gas holdup were derived. D. Lee. E. T. L. 6. ILALR2 stage. Hydrodynamic parameters, bubble behavior. Correlations for gas holdup, liquid velocity. Bubble sizes in downcomer decrease with solid particles. Nkuma ETL, 88. ILALR. Shear rate, mass transfer coefficient. Increase in superficial gas velocity increases average shear rate and volumetric mass transfer coefficient. Correlations derived for volumetric mass transfer coefficient. T. Jong E. T. A. L. 10. A. L. R. Hydrodynamic parameters. Flow characteristics studied, parameters measured, CFD model designed. P. Ramesh E. T. A. L. 8. Packed bed split cylinder reactor. Hydrodynamic parameters mass transfer coefficient. Correlations for mixing time and mass transport was developed. Weissyao ETAL, 11. Stirred reactor. Hydrodynamic parameters. Intrusive image-based method is used to measure local gas hydrodynamics parameters and bubble size. TB Arezi ETAL, 9. Split cylinder reactor. Hydrodynamic parameters. Mass transfer coefficient increases with superficial gas velocity and stirrer speed and gas holdup increases with superficial gas velocity. Table 2 Reactor Comparison 
Reactor Description 1. Bubble Column, BC It's a column reactor. Gas enters at the bottom. Too much back mixing, lack of control. Cheaper in cost. High shear. Hard to scale up. 2. Airlift Reactor ALR Modified BC It has up and down flow zone. Density difference is the driving force. Has more control than BC, fluid level. Minimum, modifications. Are possible. 3. Internal loop. Airlift reactor. Ilover. It has internal flow separator for up and down flows. Limited control of flow, better hydrodynamic properties. 4. External loop. Airlift reactor. Ilover. It has a separate loop for fluid flow and they are connected to base and gas separator sections. Have more control, flexibility in design, hydrodynamic properties are best. 5. Stirred tank. Reactor, STR. Agitated and mixed with various impeller designs, power consumption high. Efficient in producing small bubbles, cost is too high, power cost too high, impeller scaling occurs. 6. Packed bed reactor. Liquid flows through different types of solid materials which is packed. Solid materials will not move. Maintenance cost is high, number of units are possible, flooding occurs due to counter current operation. 7. Trickle bed reactor. Product removed at the bottom where liquid is sprayed over the packing material. Used in processing plants. 8. Packed Bubble Column, PBC It's a packed bubble column reactor with different packing materials. Negligible liquid flow. 9. Slurry Bubble Column, SBC Three-phase or gas-solid bubble column. Gas-solid SBC has similar hydrodynamics as gas-solid bubbling fluidized bed reactor. 10. Fluidist Bed Reactor, FBR Solid phase suspense in medium, it's a GS system. Number of types are possible. Fig.3. ALR's classification 33. 5 Conclusions Designing is an art which should be done with research interest in innovating and inventing new ideas and satisfying the requirements of an efficient reactor performance. In this review the performance of sparged, Split reactors with various sparger designs and its positions were studied and the hydrodynamic parameters measurement were also reviewed. To increase the flow characteristics the modified designs of the split cylinder ALR and the various designs of impellers were compared and the suitable required designs for the problems are suggested. Many correlations have been researched by researchers for better performance calculations and for measurements. Only few works have been done with stirrers. Sparged split cylinder ALR with packing on the riser area gives good hydrodynamic parameter performances and increases the mass transfer coefficients and it increases the reactor performance. Research can be done trying with various packing materials on the riser area and with modified design of high performance characteristics stirrers can be installed in different positions suitable in the downcomer area and better efficient performances can be tried by varying superficial gas velocities with multi-phases and bubble flow characteristics can be recorded and research can be continued further with stirrers and packing materials in the sparged split cylinder airlift reactor to further. Increase the ALR's performance in all industrial application. References 1 Kisti, M., Mu Young, M., Airlift Reactors, Characteristics, Applications, and Design Considerations. Chemical Engineering Communications 1987, 60, 1-6, 195-242. 2 Kadok, E., Survey of Gas Liquid Mass Transfer in Bioreactors 2010 3. Rasinen, M., Irikinen, T., Ojimo, H., Characterization and Hydrodynamics of a Novel Helix Airlift Reactor Chemical Engineering and Processing, Process Intensification 2016, 108, 44-57 4. L.U., X., Ding, J., Wang, Y., Xi, J. K. 
comparison of the hydrodynamics and mass transfer characteristics of a modified square airlift reactor with common airlift reactors. Chemical Engineering Science 2000, 55, 12, 2257 to 2263. 5 Kilonso, P.M., Margaritas, A., Bergangu, M., U., J., Chin, Y. Influence of the baffle clearance design on hydrodynamics of a two-riser rectangular airlift reactor with inverse internal loop and expanded gas liquid separator. Chemical Engineering Journal 2006, 121, 1, 17-26. 6 Li, D, Guo, K, Li, J, Huang, Y, Zhou, J, Lu, H. Lu, C, Hydrodynamics and Bubble Behavior in a Three-Phase Two-Stage Internal Loop Airlift Reactor Chinese Journal of Chemical Engineering 2018, 26, 6, 1359-1369 7 Ayaha, A, Aldehan, M, Investigation of Local Gas Holdup and Bubble Dynamics Using Four-Point Optical Probe Technique in a Split-Cylinder Airlift Reactor International Journal of Multiphase Flow 2018, 102, 1 to 15. 8 Ramesh, P. Saravanan, K. The Environmental Study on Characteristics Analysis of Packed Bed Split Cylinder Reactor Based on Hydrodynamics and Mass Transfer. Ecology 2019, 28, 107, 721 to 725. 9 Arezai. T. B. Saravanan, K. Priya, N. D. Hydrodynamic Studies on Split Cylinder Reactor, Experimental and CFD Technique. Ten Zhang, T. Wei, C. Feng, C. Ren, Y. Wu, H. Pries, S. Advances in Characteristics Analysis, Measurement Methods, and Modeling of Flow Dynamics in Airlift Reactors. Chemical Engineering and Processing Process Intensification 2019, 144, 107,633. 11 Xiao, Y, Li, X, Ren, S, Mao, Z, S, Yang, C. Hydrodynamics of Gas Phase Under Typical Industrial Gassing Rates in a Gas Liquid Stirred Tank Using Intrusive Image Based Method. Chemical Engineering Science 2020, 227, 115,923. 12 Evangelista, J. Katz, S. Schinner, R. Scale Up Criteria for Stirred Tank Reactors. AICHE Journal 1969, 15, 6, 843 to 853. 13 to Jakovic, M. Mills, P. Scale Up and Multiphase Reaction Engineering. Current Opinion in Chemical Engineering 2015, 9, 49 to 58. 14 Joshi, J. Nandakumar, K. Computational Modeling of Multiphase Reactors. Annual Review of Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering 2015, 6, 347 to 378. 15 Mohanty, K. Das, D. Bisvas, M. Hydrodynamics of a Novel Multi-Stage External Loop Airlift Reactor. Chemical Engineering Science 2006, 61, 14, 46 17 to 46 24. 16 U, W, Wang, T, Lu, M, Song, F. Investigation of Operation Regimes in a Multistage Internal Loop Airlift Reactor. Industrial and Engineering Chemistry Research 2010, 49, 22, 11,752 to 11,759. 17 Zhang, X, Guo, K, Qi, W, Zhang, T, Lu, C, Gas Holdup, Bubble Behavior and Mass Transfer Characteristics in a Two-Stage Internal Loop Airlift Reactor with Different Screens. The Canadian Journal of Chemical Engineering 2017, 95, 6, 1202-1212. 18 Zhang, K, Qi, N, Jin, J, L, U, C, 
Zhang, H, gas holdup and bubble dynamics in a three-phase internal loop reactor with external slurry circulation. Fuel 2010, 89, 7, 1361 to 1369. 19 Hong, T, Fan, LS, Li, D, force variations on particle induced by bubble particle collision. International Journal of Multiphase Flow 1999, 25, 3, 477 to 500. 20 Zhang, S, LV, ZY, Muller, D, Wozni, G, PBM CFD Investigation of the Gas Holdup and Mass Transfer in a Lab Scale Internal Loop Airlift Reactor. IEEE Access 2017, 5, 2711 to 2719. 21 Luo, L, Lu, F, Su, Y, Yuan, J, Hydrodynamics and Mass Transfer Characteristics in an Internal Loop Airlift Reactor with Different Spargers. Chemical Engineering Journal 2011, 175, 494 to 504. 22 De Jesus, SS, Nito, JM. Maciel Fio, R, Hydrodynamics and Mass Transfer in Bubble Column, Conventional Airlift, Stirred Airlift and Stirred Tank Bioreactors, Using Viscous Fluid, A Comparative Study. Biochemical Engineering Journal 2017, 118, 70 81. 23 Cantarsi, N, Boruk, F, Ulgen, KO, Bubble Column Reactors. Process Biochemistry 2005, 40, 7, 2263-2283 24 Merhook, J.C., Laidway, N., Cameron, A., Bulmer, M., Burzen, I., Pickett, A.M., Liquid Flow and Mixing in Concentric Tube Airlift Reactors Journal of Chemical Technology and Biotechnology, International Research in Process Environmental and Clean Technology 1996, 66, 2, 174 to 182. 25 Abasher, M.E., Narsing, U., Ruyard, A.E., Judd, R., Hydrodynamic Flow Regimes, Gas Holdup and Liquid Circulation in Airlift Reactors. Industrial and Engineering Chemistry Research 1998, 37, 4. 1251 to 1259. 26 Xianling, L, Jianping, W, Qing, Y, Swimming, Z, The Pilot Study for Oil Refinery Wastewater Treatment Using a Gas Liquid Solid Three Phase Flow Airlift Loop Bioreactor. Biochemical Engineering Journal 2005, 27, 1, 40 to 44. 27 Kisti, M, Haylard, B, Mu Young, M., Liquid Circulation in Airlift Reactors. Chemical Engineering Science 1988, 43, 3, 451 to 457. 28 Chahel, A. M., Murthy, H. N., Peak, K. Y., Pilot Scale Culture of Somatic Embryos of Eleutherococcus Centicosis in Airlift Bioreactors for the Production of Eleutherocytes. Biotechnology Letters 2014, 36, 8, 1727-1733. 29 Lu, T, Miura, S, Yagakai, M, Arimura, T, Park, EY, Okabe, M, Scale Up of L-Lactic Acid Production by Mutant Strain Rhizopus SPMK 96-1196 from 0.003 cubic meters to 5 cubic meters in airlift bioreactors. Journal of Bioscience and Bioengineering 2006, 101, 1, 9-12. 30 Freitas, C, Fialova, M, Zaradnik, J, Tyxera, J, A. Hydrodynamic Model for Three-Phase Internal and External Loop Airlift Reactors Chemical Engineering Science 1999, 54, 21, 52-53-52-58 31 Onkin, U, Triger, M, A Simplified Model of Hydrodynamics in Airlift Loop Reactors Bioprocess Engineering 1990, 5, 
3, 129 to 139. 32 Velan, M, Raymanu Jam, T, Hydrodynamics and Downflow Jet Loop Reactor. The Canadian Journal of Chemical Engineering 1991, 69, 6, 1257 to 1261. 33 Zhang, T, We, C, Ren, Y, Feng, C, Wu, H, Advances in Airlift Reactors, Modified Design and Optimization of Operation Conditions. Reviews in Chemical Engineering 2017, 33, 2, 163 to 182. 34 Vial, C, Ponson, S, Wild, G, Mittus, N, Experimental and Theoretical Analysis of the Hydrodynamics in the Riser of an External Loop Airlift Reactor. Chemical Engineering Science 2002, 57, 22 to 23, 47, 45 to 47, 62. 35 Zhang, T, Wei, C, Feng, C, Zhu, J. A novel airlift reactor enhanced by funnel internals and hydrodynamics prediction by the CFD method. Bioresource Technology 2012, 104, 600 to 607. 36 Pi, K, Huang, L, Li, Z, Gao, L, Gerson, A R. Oxygen mass transfer characteristics in an internal loop airlift reactor with preset trumpet-shaped riser. Asia-Pacific Journal of Chemical Engineering 2014, 9, 6, 834-844. 37 Godo, Dot, Klein, J, Polakovic, M, Bull, V, Periodical Changes of Input Air Flow Rate A Possible Way of Improvement of Oxygen Transfer and Liquid Circulation in Airlift Bioreactors. Chemical Engineering Science 1999, 54. 21, 49, 37 to 49, 43. 38 Del Castillo, L. A., Onishi, S., Horn, R. G., Inhibition of Bubble Coalescence, Effects of Salt Concentration and Speed of Approach. Journal of Colloid and Interface Science 2011, 356, 1, 316 to 324. 39 Crick Navaruk, S., Pavasant, P. Analysis of gas liquid mass transfer in an airlift contactor with perforated plates. Chemical Engineering Journal 2002, 89, 1 to 3, 203 to 211. 40 Wang, P. M., Huang, T. K., Cheng, H. P., Qian, Y. H., Wu, W. T. A modified airlift reactor with high capabilities of liquid mixing and mass transfer. Journal of Chemical Engineering of Japan 2002, 35, 4, 354 to 359. 41 Vicente, A. A., De Louis, M., Tyxera, J. A., Increase of Ethanol Productivity in an Airlift Reactor with a Modified Draft Tube. The Canadian Journal of Chemical Engineering 1999, 77, 3, 497 to 502. 42 Gluz, M, Merhuk, J, Modified Airlift Reactors, The Helical Flow Promoters. Chemical Engineering Science 1996, 51, 11, 29 15 to 29 20. 43 Way, C, Lee, L, Hydraulic Characteristics of Internal Loop Fluidized Bed with Baffle Setting on Bottom. Journal of Chemical Industry and Engineering China 2007. 58, 10, 2480. 44 Maravji, M.K., Fakari, M.E., Mosente de, E., De Varnajad, R., Hydrodynamics and Oxygen Mass Transfer in a Packed Bed Split Cylinder Airlift Reactor Containing Dilute Alcoholic Solutions. Heat and Mass Transfer 2013, 49, 1, 11 19. 45 Nicocteri, H., Hill, GA, Hydrodynamic and Oxygen Mass Transfer in an External Loop Airlift Bioreactor with a Packed Bed. Biochemical Engineering Journal 2005, 27, 2, 138-145. 
46 Tunthikul, N, Wang Suchoto, P, Pavasant, P, Hydrodynamics and Mass Transfer Behavior in Multiple Draft Tube Airlift Contactors. Korean Journal of Chemical Engineering 2006, 23, 6, 881 887. 47 Wei, C, Xiat, B, Wu, C, Ren, Y, Chen, H, Hydrodynamics and Mass Transfer of Triplet Loop Biological Fluidized Bed. Chemical Reaction Engineering and Technology 1999, 15, 166 173. 48 Li, S, Qi, T, Zhang, Y, Lu, C, Hydrodynamics of a Multi Stage Internal Loop Airlift Reactor. Chemical Engineering and Technology, Industrial Chemistry Plant Equipment Process Engineering Biotechnology 2009, 32, 1. 80 to 85. 49 Way, CH, Study on the Characteristics of Oxygen Transfer in New Type Structure Inner Loop 3 Phase Fluidized Bed. China Environmental Science Chinese Edition 2001, 21, 6, 507 to 510. 50 Gosh, T, Mady, B, Batacharya, B. Studies on Mass Transfer Characteristics of a Modified Airlift Fermenter Bioprocess Engineering 1993, 9, 6, 239-244 51 Dequer, W.D., Field, R.W., Bubble Column Reactors Wiley, New York, 1992, Volume 200 52 Guo, Y, Rather, M. TIH Hydrodynamics and Mass Transfer Studies in a Novel External Loop Airlift Reactor. Chemical Engineering Journal 1997, 67, 3, 205 214. 53 Olivieri, G. Marzicola, A. Salatino, P. A Novel Three Phase Airlift Reactor Without Circulation of Solids. The Canadian Journal of Chemical Engineering 2010. 88, 4, 574 to 578. 54 Pirauzi, A, Nasrati, M, Shojaya Sadati, S, A, Shuka C, S, Improvement of Mixing Time, Mass Transfer, and Power Consumption in an External Loop Airlift Photobioreactor for Microalgae Cultures. Biochemical Engineering Journal 2014, 87, 25 to 32. 55 Merhuk, J, Contreras, A, Garcia, F, Molina, E, Studies of Mixing in a Concentric Tube Airlift Bioreactor with Different Spargers. Chemical Engineering Science 1998, 53, 4, 709 to 719. 56 Jacobson, A, J, Lindborg, H, Durau, C, A, Modeling of Bubble Column Reactors. Progress and Limitations Industrial and Engineering Chemistry Research 2005, 44, 14, 5107 to 5151 57 Jin, B, Lant, P, Flow Regime, Hydrodynamics, Flock Size Distribution and Sludge Properties in Activated Sludge Bubble Column, Airlift and Aerated Stirred Reactors Chemical Engineering Science 2004, 59 12, 2379 to 2388. 58 Siegel, M. Robinson, C. Application of airlift gas liquid solid reactors in biotechnology. Chemical Engineering Science 1992, 47, 13 to 14, 32 15 to 32 29. 59 Vial, C. Ponson, S. Wild, G. Midus, N. A simple method for regime identification and flow characterization in bubble columns and airlift reactors. Chemical Engineering and Processing, Process Intensification 2001, 40, 2, 135 to 151. 60 Way, C, Xiat, B, Xiao, H, Hydrodynamics in an Internal Loop Airlift Reactor with a Convergence Divergence Draft Tube. Chemical Engineering and Technology, 
Industrial Chemistry Plant Equipment Process Engineering Biotechnology 2000, 23, 1, 38 to 45. 61 Zhang, T, Wu, H Z, Feng, C H, Wei, C H. Modified airlift reactor with a cross-shaped internal and its hydrodynamic simulation by computational fluid dynamic method. Biotechnology and Biotechnological Equipment 2018, 32, 1, 194 to 203. 62 Wu, X, Merhuk, J C. Measurement of fluid flow in the downcomer of an internal loop airlift reactor using an optical trajectory tracking system. Chemical Engineering Science 2003, 58, 8, 1599-1614 63 Garcia, J.C., Lavin, A.G., Diaz, M., High Liquid Hold-Up Airlift Tower Loop Reactor, 2 Downcomer Hydrodynamic Modeling Journal of Chemical Technology and Biotechnology, International Research in Process, Environmental and Clean Technology 2000 75, 5, 378 to 386. 64 Patel, S.A., Glasgow, L., Erickson, L., Lee, C., Characterization of the Downflow Section of an Airlift Column Using Bubble Size Distribution Measurements. Chemical Engineering Communications 1986, 44, 1 to 6, 1 to 20. 65 Merhook, J.C., Siegel, M.H., Airlift Reactors in Chemical and Biological Technology. Journal of Chemical Technology and Biotechnology 1988, 41, 2, 105 to 120. 66 Wang Suchoto, P., Chirinpanitkal, T., Pavasant, P., Bubble Size Distribution and Gas Liquid Mass Transfer in Airlift Contactors. Chemical Engineering Journal 2003, 92, 1 to 3, 81 to 90. 67 Lau, Y, Dean, N, Kuipers, J, Development of an Image Measurement Technique for Size Distribution in Dense Bubbly Flows. Chemical Engineering Science 2013, 94, 20 to 29. 68 Z Zhanhein, T, Zalaki, J, Rizahak, R, Lucas, D, on the Hydrodynamics of Airlift Reactors, Part I, Experiments. Chemical Engineering Science 2016, 150, 54-65. 69 Li, GQ, Yang, SZ, CAI, ZL, Chen, JY, Mass Transfer and Gas Liquid Circulation in an Airlift Bioreactor with Viscous Non-Newtonian Fluids. The Chemical Engineering Journal and the Biochemical Engineering Journal 1995, 56, 2, B101B107. 70 Choi, K, Kisti, Y, Mu Young, M, Comparative Evaluation of Hydrodynamic and Gas Liquid Mass Transfer Characteristics in Bubble Column and Airlift Slurry Reactors. The Chemical Engineering Journal and the Biochemical Engineering Journal 1996, 62, 3, 223 to 229. 71 Luo, HP, Aldehan, MH, Local Gas Holdup in a Draft Tube Airlift Bioreactor. Chemical Engineering Science 2010, 65, 15, 4503 to 4510. 72 Hijinen, J, Halls, J, Vanderlands, R, Van Leeuwen, H, Mulder, a. Welt of Red, R. A simple hydrodynamic model for the liquid circulation velocity in a full scale 2 and 3 phase internal airlift reactor operating in the gas recirculation regime. Chemical Engineering Science 1997, 52, 15, 25 27 25 40. 73 Bellow, R. A. Robinson, C. W. Mu Young, M, Gas Holdup, and Overall Volumetric Oxygen Transfer Coefficient in Airlift Contactors. Biotechnology and Bioengineering 1985, 27, 3, 369 to 381. 74 Blayage, M, Glover, G.C., 
Generales, S, Marco, J, Gas Liquid Simulation of an Airlift Bubble Column Reactor. Chemical Engineering and Processing, Process Intensification 2004, 43, 2, 137 to 144. 75 Wench, F, Kisti, Y, Muyang, M, A New Method for the Measurement of Solids Holdup in Gas Liquid Solid 3 Phase Systems. Industrial and Engineering Chemistry Research 1995, 34, 3, 928 to 935. 76 Klein, J, Dalgo, O, Godo, Dot, Blayage, M, Marco, J. Application of a Magnetic Tracer Method for the Characterization of Hydrodynamics in Internal Loop Airlift Bioreactors. Chemical Papers 2000, 54, 6b, 456 to 466. 77 Yuneskis, M, Popioluk, Z, Whitelaw, J, An Experimental Study of the Steady and Unsteady Flow Characteristics of Stirred Reactors. Journal of Fluid Mechanics 1987, 175, 537 to 555. 78 Kisti, Y, Muyang, M, Improve the Performance of Airlift Reactors. Chemical Engineering Progress 1993, 89, 38 to 38. 79 Bwayfi, M. Rouston, M., Bubble Size and Mass Transfer Coefficients in Dual Impeller Agitated Reactors. The Canadian Journal of Chemical Engineering 1998, 76, 3, 390 to 397. 80 Humark, GA, Power Requirements and Interfacial Area in Gas Liquid Turbine Agitated Systems. Industrial and Engineering Chemistry Process Design and Development 1980, 19. 4, 638 to 641. 81 Vasconcelos, J. M., Orville Ho, S. C., Rodriguez, A. M., Alves, S. S., Effect of Blade Shape on the Performance of Six Bladed Disc Turbine Impellers. Industrial and Engineering Chemistry Research 2000, 39, 1, 203 to 213. 82 Musha, T., Linek, V. Prokopova, E. Gas Holdup, Mixing Time and Gas Liquid Volumetric Mass Transfer Coefficient of Various Multiple Impeller Configurations, Rushton Turbine, Pitched Blade and Tech Mix Impeller and Their Combinations. Chemical Engineering Science 2003, 58, 9, 1839-1846. 83 Wang, T. U. G. Yang, Y. Yang, C. Mao, Z. S. Hydrodynamic characteristics of dual impeller configurations in a multiple phase stirred tank. Industrial and Engineering Chemistry Research 2010, 49, 3, 1001 to 1009. 84 Gabel, J. C. Ochier, F. Carvalho, A. Rosette, R. Morchain, J. Effect of tank size on KLA and mixing time in aerated stirred reactors with non-Newtonian fluids. The Canadian Journal of Chemical Engineering 2011, 89, 5, 1139 to 1153. 85 Capello, V, Play, C, Vial, C, Ochier, F, Bubble size and liquid side mass transfer coefficient measurements in aerated stirred tank reactors with non-Newtonian liquids. Chemical Engineering Science 2020, 211, 115,280. 86 Sia, M. H., Sia, J. Y., Zhou, G. Z., Zhang, S. L., U., P. Q., Hydrodynamics Characterization of an Ellipse Gate Impeller by Experimental and Numerical Studies. Chemical Engineering and Technology 2013, 36. 1, 115 to 122. 87 Zhang, J, Gao, Z, Cai, Y, Cai, Z, Yang, J, Bao, Y, Mass Transfer in Gas Liquid Stirred Reactor with Various Triple Impeller Combinations. Chinese Journal of Chemical Engineering 2016, 24, 
6, 703 to 710. 88 Kumar, N, Bansal, A, Gupta, R, shear rate and mass transfer coefficient in internal loop airlift reactors involving non Newtonian fluids. Chemical Engineering Research and Design 2018, 136, 315 to 323.